Good morning. I, Salim, Assistant Professor in Electronics and Instrumentation Department, Guide Group of Institutions, presenting you comparison of hydraulic, pneumatic, and electrical telemetry systems. So first, these are the criteria based on which we can compare electrical system, hydraulic system, and pneumatic system. So first, energy production using hydro and nu nuclear in electrical systems, in hydraulic systems using pumps, electrically driven, in pneumatic systems using compressors and electrically driven. Second comparison is based on availability of medium, generally available everywhere electrical system. Hyd Hydraulic system obtaining and disposing of oil is costly in case of hydraulic system. Pneumatic system air is freely available all over everywhere. Next criteria is energy storage. In electrical system to store the energy we use batteries, cells, they are expensive and the maintenance these types of storage is difficult. In hydraulic system, limited storage capability in accumulator, gas is needed as an auxiliary medium. Pneumatic system, large amount can be stored in receiver tank without amount of extent. Next criteria is our energy transmission. In electrical system, we can transmit energy from one location to another location beyond 1000 km. In hydraulic systems, we can transmit energy up to 100 meter only. In pneumatic systems, we can transmit energy up to 1000 meter or 1 km. The cost of energy production using electrical telemetry system is smallest, using hydraulic telemetry system high and using pneumatic systems it is highest. Next criteria is the controllability. The controllability cost of electrical system is high. For the hydraulic system speed control is very good especially in slow speed range. In pneumatic systems, speed control is easy, but uniform speed is not possible in pneumatic system because of air. Next criteria is linear force. Lower forces, poor efficiency, problem of overloading, high energy consumption during no load conditions and large physical size in case of electrical systems. In hydraulic systems, large forces due to high pressure, good controllability in this case and possibility of large stroke. In pneumatic system, force limited up to 50,000 Newton due to low pressure and cylinder, high speed operation up to 1.5 meter per second, high acceleration stroke up to 10 meter possible only in pneumatic systems. The next criteria is rotating force using electrical electric motors highest efficiency limited speed. In hydraulic systems using hydraulic motors good efficiency easily controllable as early we discussed when moving slow high performance due to high pressure. In pneumatic systems using air motors very high speed up to 50,000 rpm simple reversible. Adjustment of force very complicated in electrical systems, simple in hydraulic systems and also simple in pneumatic systems. Conjunction at standstill. Standstill 
means no load condition. In electrical systems, standstill with load and no specific precautions leads to destruction. In hydraulic systems, maximum energy consumption at full force. In pneumatic system, no energy consumption. In overloading cases, not loadable at standstill, loadable until standstill, in pneumatic loadable until, until standstill. Temperature influence, electrical systems are sense insensitive to variation in temperature but hydraulic and pneumatic systems are more sensitive to temperature because as the temperature rises the fluid property changes and fluid may be liquid or may be gas so in both the cases hydraulic system and pneumatic system temperature variation changes our system controllability and our performance leakage lethal accident risk at high voltage more accidents at high voltages loss of energy and environment falling in pneumatic system only loss of energy due to leakage in hydraulic system loss of energy due to leakage and environment falling because in this type of cases the fluid may be oil or something else handling specialized knowledge is required for electrical systems in hydraulic system more specialized knowledge is required in pneumatic system good result obtainable noise electrical systems loud actuating noise of contactors and relays pump noise at high pressure pump produce noise at high pressure unpleasant exhaust noise can be reduced by installing silencers in case of pneumatic system here are the pictures of it is the my current telemetry system which is the part of electrical system here is my hydraulic system this card design of hydraulic system and it is the my pneumatic system okay this is my pneumatic system and this is my hydraulic system thank you